Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new game called Solus Project. So Solus Project is a single player exploration adventure game with survival elements. The adventure is set on a mysterious alien planet and is the spiritual successor to a game called The Ball, which is from 2010. Hmm. What does that mean to me? It's kind of a lot of words is what the Steam page describes. This game is basically uh, maybe a Tharsis mixed with Subnautica mixed with maybe Don't Starve. So Tharsis, kind of the spacey feel where the environment is out to get you. Uh, Subnautica, kind of like the on-planet sort of survival ex adventure. And then Don't Starve, which is kind of the, the crafting and questing and uh, gathering resources to survive. So kind of a cool combination of games. Uh, down below in the video description has a bunch of links and a whole bunch more information that you can read through. And I've been playing for about half an hour just to get a, a general idea of the game. And I decided to go with it with you guys. It is early access. It is like one or two stages right now in the game. Not totally fleshed out fully with content, but they're planning uh, frequent releases of updated content. So hopefully we can uh, jump in and grab those as they come up. So we're going to start a brand new game. And we're going to start a new one. I did see, you can see how much I've played, but I don't know. It doesn't really say how much I've played. But we're going to save slot 2, and we'll see what goes. We'll go into the story mode here. In the year 2115, scientists identified a rogue class B star traveling towards us, Earth, and the other solar system, system will be destroyed. The Prolis, Prolis ship are launched in 2149, three giant colony ships carrying thousands to the safe zone near Pluto. In 2151, the Earth is destroyed. With nowhere to go, our last resources are scrambled and five scout ships are sent to five distant worlds. These pioneers will be the first to go on their journey. Our last chance at survival is known as the Solus Project. Yeah. This game also does have VR and eye tracking capabilities too. So if you have any of those things, it could be kind of neat to look at. Fifteen years later. Mission TSP-3 arrives at Gliese 6143C. And there's the Tharsis ship all ready to go. Good old modular colony ship. I guess this is a scout, not necessarily a colony. Director. Oh, go. Early game credits. It's nice. Oh, my. Father, Jury, can you hear me? Where is everyone? Did anyone make it to the drop pods? Amen. Lars, is anyone there? So the ship got hit by something from the planet, and evidently it crashed. And now we're on the planet down below. Hmm. Kind of cool storyline. Kind of, uh, kind of a typical storyline. Let's we'll see what happens here. Really pretty game, isn't it? Till we fall straight on our face. 
And then our mask gets instantly repaired. That's an interesting idea. We got our data tracker. I guess we'll pick that up as soon as I get control. Huh? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we're gonna go, let's see. Uh, easy, normal, hard. Let's go on normal. We'll have visual things. Uh, let's go Fahrenheit for temperature. It's a little easier for me to understand. Uh, feet and miles, I can do either, but I'll do that for my US viewers. Uh, US fluid ounces, we can do liters on that, I'm guessing, an inverted look. Gross. I don't know. I don't understand the inverted look. Okay, eat a pickup. World Independent Local Survival Overseer Node. World Independent Wilson. Local Survival Overseer Node active. Wilson, uh -huh. interfacing with operator. Operator vital signs detected. So we're the operator. Cool. Ooh. You have two states to pick up an item or craft and combine with another item. Okay. So we can pick this up. It is a rock. Multi-use. We can pick up using the uh, E key. We can go up to this one. And we can use that to smack it. It can cut. You'll see there's the backspace to drop it if we wanted to. And we'll pick that up. Cool. So we have a sharp rock now. We'll use the sharp rock to cut the cables. And grab up the cables is another item. Okay, and we also have different stats here. P, O, and B. I'm guessing stats, objectives, and sleep. I'm not sure why they have those in their P, O, and B. It's all over the keyboard, too. Uh, so we get our, our regular stuff. as world temp, humidity. This is your outside temperatures. And then time until sleep. We have health, body, calories, and water. So if I look down there, we have 15.7 hours of of awakeness left, I guess. Uh, 61 degrees, 29% humidity, and 1.2 mile an hour wind. So it's uh, all atmospheric pressure so far, or world pressure, I guess. And we stand up, jump over that. Cool, look at this. Stretch of desolation. So we have water bottle. It's a water bottle, stores water, plus two liters. Cool, which is about a half a gallon. Uh, food can, we'll grab that. And the thing, survival handbook, one of eight. If you find yourself in a precarious situation, explore your surroundings and scavenge whatever useful items you can find before conditions worsen. Uh-oh. As soon as you can, secure a source of heat, fresh water, and food. Find a place to take shelter. How you deal with the first few hours is crucial for your survival. <laughs> nice that they plot these out for us. Stay dry, sleep well, and protect yourself during storms. Keeping well rested is vital to increasing your chances of survival. Rain or water can quickly lead to hypothermia during nights. Please follow survival training. Be careful not to get lost. Mark locations you have been to. It's Avoid getting trapped. In flames. I oh. need to last long enough to report something back to Prolus Command. Better have a look around and see if anything or anyone... Survived. Okay. <laughs> I'm following the breadcrumbs. Let me be. Be careful not to get lost. Mark locations you've been to. Avoid getting trapped due to nightfall. Rising tide. Storms. Losing your light source. And so on. Oh, great. So the tide rises. That's cute. Once you have control of your environment, find a way to communicate with the outside world. Gather parts to build an imprompt transmitter. Never give up hope that you will be rescued, no matter how dire your situation. I hope that doesn't mean that something like alien thing is going to come out and scoop us up to to find our way. Hmm, more water. Crafting a torch. Create a makeshift cutting tool by using rocks. Cut off a dry organic material. Wrap the material around some kind of handle. Apply oil to it, if available, and light on fire. Eh. Okay. Well, speaking of the devil, there's some pipe. Some food. I don't want to open it. Let's just pick it up. Okay, forward vector. Find a place to take shelter. Well, that's convenient. What's this? Another rock. We have picked up a rock. Hey, look, a rock. Let's pick up the rock. Drink from a fresh water source. Ooh, free water. Gulp, bitty gulp. Now, how much water? Oh, I'm okay on water now. That's excellent. Okay, scavenge some food. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. We're gonna drop down some of this stuff pick that up and we're just gonna drop it here in the cave so we can clear up our, our current inventory uh, how about we drop let's walk up a little bit and drop the food down it told us to find food didn't it that's our next thing 
Hey, we survived for that long. No resistances, so you can pick up items that increase resistances to our sh to our suit. Uh, o is scavenge some food. Okay, and it shows us where to go for that. I'm gonna continue dropping this stuff here. And we'll always have a little indicator saying where our items are, so that's cool. Uh, I'll keep the wire and the other stuff on us. That'll be fine. All right. Oh wow. Okay. We'll wait for that because that's uh that's the dry stuff to make. That's like vines to make the torch with. Cool. Scavenge some food. What is this? Plant edible plus 115 calories and a little bit of water. So eat it consume. Calories are going up. That's cool. No current objectives. Oh, there's some. We drink a tenth of a liter. Use a pipe. Okay. Use as a torch. Very nice. Forward vector. I'm guessing this is going to be something burnable, like maybe, oh, let's say a vine. Ah, there we go. We can pick the sharp rock to cut that down. Grab that up. And we have ourselves a torch. I guess he wants us to cut this one down. Let's do that. Very good. Locate something burnable. Is that what it said? Yep, we already did that. We made our torch up. And we have to go find the oil now, according to this little paper on the ground right here. So wouldn't it be swell if there'd be a big vial of oil stranded out here somewhere in the in the beachfront property? Hey look, locate oil. Huh. Imagine that. Okay, it's all gloopy. And now there must be something to light the oil on fire with. Our thruster. And it is lit. Look at this. Watch the temperature go up. A little bit warm. A little bit warm and windy. And no humidity. <laughs> uh oh. Act one, the awakening. Okay. Here. Let's close that down. Alright, so what do we do? Bling blong. Connection established. That didn't happen before. So we can't actually talk to her. I don't want to panic you, but the other colony ships here in the fleet are getting antsy. We have a 16 year journey ahead and our time is running out. The team here are rooting for you. Okay, so the other colony ships have died, and we're the only hope for mankind, is it? Now we've lost connection. Great. That's convenient. So what do we have over here? Oh, looks like uh, water going through. Can we walk through that? I'm kind of scared to do that. Can we jump over it? Are we supposed to, what are we supposed to be doing? Exploring or looking around? I guess that's kind of the nature of the game. It's kind of a, in a way, a walking simulator. I kind of hate that term, but it kind of is. There are so many things that Terra Nova Group prohibits us from saying. It just feels wrong that everyone wants, or want to talk has to sign an agreement not to tell anyone or butter discussions. Maybe Frederick's right about them censoring us. Okay. What's this? I saw Montessor, I don't know how to pronounce that, reading off a script. Nan gave her... Reading a script. Amon gave her apparently the next episode will feature the pioneers from all the solo ships, when Isabel and Hatton ran their episode, they weren't given any script, but Moon is a bit unpredictable. So we're on some sort of reality show? That's kind of weird. Another rock. I guess I'll pick that up. Nothing else here. Kind of trapped. Let's get out of here. Is this where I started? That might have been where I started. I think it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to sleep, aren't we? That's what the goal was. Whoopsies. We'll go do that. You're supposed to sleep in the cave for a little bit. I think... Is it... I... No, it's... Oh? Yeah, explore. Okay. Or sleep or find a shrine to save the experience. Continue. Okay. So if you sleep... You want to sleep in, like, a cave? 
If you sleep in a cave, then it's a little warmer for you. We can get our water back. Very nice. Okay, so sleeping is the B key. That's our, um, that is our alarm clock. You can sleep for like an hour, and that'll save our current progress. Eyes go down, and then we go wakey, wakey, wakey time. Hey, look at that. So everything passes as you sleep too. Do we need some food? Eat it up. E. Okay, and let's eat this. Eat and consume. Calories are good. Now I can drop that. Let's drop it over here. And we'll drink some water. Unlimited source of water is always great. Okay, we're excellent. Totally excellent. Alright, let's continue around. See if we can find anything fun and exciting. Maybe the tide went down. It should, because uh, last time I, I tested it out, we were able to go over there. Sun is going down a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be nighttime. Aha! So I can go over here now, maybe. Yeah, it's down a little bit. You get wet, you can get cold. And getting cold is no fun. There's some more water. Cool. Should have dropped some more stuff. More food. What's that? What is this? Flight recorder. Ooh. 4% falling resistance. That's neat. More food. Oh, you're kidding me. Hey, we're dropping a rock. I feel like food is a better resource than rock. <laughs> Although I might be wrong. Kind of want to puzzle jump my way over there, too. I will pass on that. Okay, let's continue on a little bit. We'll go back the other way. I guess we could come back for a rock if we wanted to. Hi! Hold me over here. Let me out! I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Jim. Let me out. Okay. Oh, yeah, the water came down way far. So, if you, if you did look, is it peaky? Yeah. So, hypothermia, heat stroke, starvation, and dehydration. Those are the different resistances we can get. If you want. If we can find different items to do that. Very cool. Let's go drop some more stuff off back at our little hut, our little cave, and if we need to, we can come back for them. I'm kind of guessing that we will in the future. Oh, there's that sign. It is becoming night. Maybe we should just sleep off the night. I don't know how long the day-night cycle is. Huh. Ooh. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. I'll come back for you, brother. Drop my food down right here. We'll come back and get ooh, more vines. You can also get upgrades for increasing your, your carrying capacity. Okay. We'll just leave that here, too. Got a couple rocks. We'll drop that down right next to it. And grab the next one. Should we just go explore? I think we should explore, as long as we're still on the first day here. I don't think the torches wear out. If they do, I've not seen that yet. Might be a good idea to have a secondary torch. Oh, that's cool. Big old planet up there. Can I jump up on this thing? I can. Is there anything cool down here? You'd think our habitable units would still be available. Oh no! Oopsies. Fell. Fell. Health 630. Oh. So, falling damage is in. But our visor's back normal again. Huh. Nice calm day on the beach. Very neat. Very neat indeed. Let's see. There's nothing down there at all. No clams to pick up. What are these things? Whoa! Yeah, it's Zooks Batman. That's nasty. You're nasty too. Are there VHS tapes? Oh, what's this? Name Kata Kapoor Roll Biologist, India, 5th of May 2146. Bachelor's and Master's in Plant Biology and Plant Biotechnology. Huh. Okay, so that's one of the people. I wonder if that's us. What's this? What's that? 
Hello there. I found you. I just lit it on fire. I did not want to light the plant on fire. Hey, but it's warm by the plant. And the nights are very cold, as it just told us. Wanted to pick it up. Hmm. I think it's totally burnt now. Are you guys okay? Okay, let's continue. Moving along the beach. What's that noise? I hear something over here. Got the sound turned up pretty high so you guys can hopefully hear what I'm hearing. Looks like I can jump up here. There's something making squeaking back here. Maybe not. Can't get in there. Huh. It's gotta be. I hear it. There's a way in. Oh, now I'm totally stuck. I better not be stuck. Bad day to ruin video by getting stuck on the first episode. Oh, you're kidding me. Great. Very good. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good time to end the first one. Shoot. I gotta get out of here. Try to. Oh, footprints. Resistant buffs. Yeah, I'd like to like to get out of the hole. Okay, guys, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll be out of this hole, and we'll continue on. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.